morning everyone this is Tile Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved Lost Island map I'm still doing my little canoeing adventure around the around the around the beaches of this big giant island and I've sat here on this little peninsula all night waiting for daylight so I can continue my adventure on around the west coast of this map and during the night I've been scoping around with my little scope here I did discover something, that little pointy mountain in front of me with a purple supply drop coming down on it. Right there, right below that is a what looks like a castle. There. There's like two towers and some walls, and I don't know what that is right there where that drop is. It looks like some kind of manufactured plat platform. I don't know. We'll have to check that out at some point, but I thought that was pretty interesting looking. But anyway, today we've got a goal. We'll put out our fire. We did put down a sleeping bag here in case anything happens to us, but we've got a goal today. We've got our map here. We've circled the whole, almost the whole map today. We're going to try to connect this map up and get back up to our original base and try to do some stuff up there today if we can make it back today. It'll probably take us most of the day just to paddle this canoe around through there, but we're going to get started. And we're going to try to make it back to our base. We're going to put this thing into third person because I like it better like this because I can see around me. And we're going to try to make it around the west coast of this map today. Do a little bit of sightseeing along the way. Try to make it a little bit interesting. I know canoe riding is not very interesting if you've already seen the map. I've not seen it myself though. Just where I've been so far. So I do enjoy sightseeing early game. And there's still a couple of new dinosaurs I have not seen yet, so I would like to eventually see those. But what I really need to do is get back to my original base location and do some building and stuff and try to level my character up. So I can get me a flyer and then with the flyer I can visit some of these harder to reach areas a lot easier. Get me a good Tranodon or something. Some of these areas are just really hard to access other than by, you can go around the beaches on a raft. And I've got a parasaur back at base that I can do a little bit of inland adventures on, but it's going to be kind of dangerous doing that. But I need to get back and level up some more, maybe build a little bit more on my base. I think I'm at level 29 right now and I need to be to level 38 to get a Pteranodon saddle. So I'm a little ways off from that still yet. And I've also noticed something else. You don't level up very well paddling a canoe around. You've got to be doing stuff. So our goal for today is just to make it back to our main base. Back to our original campsite. And it is a long ways around this coastline. But I'm going to try not to get distracted by anything and try to just paddle on around. Got some big rock formations up here in the water. Maybe another island or something. I don't know yet. We'll see when we get up here. Hopefully this will be a safe journey. I don't know. Basically, the only thing I'm worried about on a canoe is maybe those big giant whale things called lead sictius. And if we get anywhere near a swampy area, we've got to worry about capros. I don't know if a capro can jump a canoe or not, but I would be willing to bet they probably can. That stone found formation is way out in the ocean, ain't it? I'm probably not going to have time to check that out today because I've got to make it back to my base. It's probably going to take me quite a while to do this. I'd say we're making the big turn north right now up the west coast. We're coming up on California. See what California has to offer. There's some big old mountains right there. And we've got a Pelagornis circling around in the water in front of us. That's quite likely some swamp area right up in there, so we'll probably have to stay way off uh, way off the beach when we get near that, if that's what that is. 
This is really shallow water through here. There's something really green on the beach. I think it is a dodo. Yep, just a dodo. We've got a dolphin swimming around under us. So far, nothing has messed with my canoe. So I don't know if anything will or not, other than those new creatures we spotted earlier. They messed with it. Those things that look like diplodocuses with spikes all over their backs, up their necks and down their backs. A couple of them came after me. I guess that was yesterday when that happened. There's a really pink Pelagornis. At least I think that's what that is. Yep, it's, it's definitely a Pelagornis. Let's keep a truck and we've got a long journey for today. I'm hopefully going to end the canoe journey today if I can make it back to my original base. Lots of wild looking seed plants underneath me. Pretty nice day today on the map. We ain't got a rainstorm or a big fog bank rolling in on us yet. Hopefully that doesn't jinx us and get one going. need to be very wary of swamp. I don't think this is swamp up ahead, but who knows, it might be. Keep a little bit offshore. See a pteranodon. I do need to be looking for a good pteranodon soon. But I'm still about 10 levels away from being able to make a saddle for one. More dodos. When I see a big lighthouse on top of a hill, I'll know I'm getting close to my base. It looks like it's a long ways off still yet. I would really like to get a flyer pretty soon because I've basically missed this Christmas event. There's no way of getting those rap Raptor Claws presents basically without a good flyer. And I am still a long ways from having a good flyer. And pteranodons can't carry much weight anyhow, so it's really not a good thing to be getting them on because they always have coal and mistletoe in them, and it's really heavy. But as it is right now, I can't get any of them unless one just happens to fall right on top of me. And that hasn't happened yet. I've only seen raptor claws one night, and this is day eight of our adventure. Okay, this looks like a cold area up here. Trying to run me into the beach here. I am not sure which way I need to go right here. I think I need to just go straight across and around this peninsula up here. See two obelisks and a volcano from here. Actually, I see all three obelisks right over there is the other one. Water's kind of shallow over here. Over here might be a good place for a base about middle ways. I do need to find a much better base location than what I've got. But it'll be a while before I decide to set up a final base, I think. Got to explore more first. Yep, 
Yeah, this whole area over here looks like they snow all across the mountains, so this is probably the Arctic region over here. I guess it's only inland, though. We should be heading up on the Pacific Northwest here pretty soon. That is a huge flat area right there. Looks like desert, kind of. Could definitely put a huge base right there, as flat as that is. So far, I have not seen any lead sickness. I did see a Basiliosaurus, though, over there next to that island where I found the crystals at. There's a dolphin under me. This map has got a lot of water, that's for sure. That goes all the way inland, I think. We're going to head for this peninsula up in front of us. Hopefully our base is just on the other side of this. I don't know, though. Seems like 100 miles away from here, though. We're fixing to get into some really deep water, looks like. Just going to risk it and head straight across. That might possibly be that lighthouse up on top of that hill, but I can't tell from this distance. See what looks like a white supply drop up there. Keep paddling. Need a motor for one of these things, make it go like a motorboat. some detail popped in right there we got some, we can see some trees up on the hill so we're getting closer Maybe we're coming up on Oregon now, I don't know. Hopefully we're back to the northern end of this map.
like a big hole in the mountainside right there. Guess it's just a big stone archway. Pretty cool looking map. Don't think I'm gonna go in land right there. I'll just get up here a little bit closer where I can see better. Big archway with a stalagmite running down the middle of it or stalactite. And some kind of blue formations under me in the water. What is that I'm seeing up there? I don't know. Let's check our map and see how much further we like. We're almost there. I think we just got to get around this hillside here and we'll be back to base. Looks like a bunch of those itchy ornus birds. Let's get to going. Get back into third person here. We'll be back at base pretty soon. I think. I think we just got to go around this hillside here. Hopefully we can fit through these rocks up here in front of us. Yep, we're definitely getting into the Pacific Northwest. Boy, that is a big shark under me. Well, if sharks attack canoes, you'd be in desperate trouble, wouldn't you? Be saying you're going to need a bigger boat for sure. I think that is the noontime music just hit, so it's taken us half a day to get up to this up to the northern end of this map. I think we're almost there now though. I think. Might be mistaken. Here comes the thunderstorms. And there's a supply drop. We might be able to get one here. We want to risk this. It's just a white drop so it probably would be nothing good. I think let's get up here. Maybe. Get some weapons equipped. Get out of this third person view on person. I can't stand that on when you're walking around. There's a light strip. So that is kind of a good sign. Looks pretty clear. Let's see what's in this. Something to overweight us, I'm sure. We got a pig saddle. We could tame us a pig now. I'm not too big on riding pigs, though, so I think we're going to pass that by. We're running really heavy. Let's get on around this peninsula up here, around the West Coast Corner. I'm wondering if these boats actually might go a little bit faster with it, this view, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, let's change back. When you're in first person on the boat, you can't look around behind you like this and look to the shore and look down below you or look into the water. You can't do none of that stuff. So I don't like the first person on the boat. What 
what is that on the, oh, it's a Therinthiosaur. It's some foggy, I can't tell, but there's a Therinthiosaur on the beach. I think we're gonna have to go around this little outcrop here, too, to get to where we're going. I wish that weather would clear. That's some pretty bad weather. rock in front of me. Barely can't see it. There's some pretty bad weather on this map, but it's not nowhere near as bad as the original island. Weather on that map so bad you can't see your hand in front of your face. This one's bad, but not quite as bad as that. And this probably won't last very long. At least I hope not. Let's go, boat. We gotta get back and check on our parcel. We did tame a parcel right before we started this three day long canoe ride around the map. We need to make sure our parcel's got food. See if we can't level up our character and do some crafting. We'd like to get to some metal armor and a pteranodon saddle. There's the lighthouse. Boy, it's still a long ways to the lighthouse. But I can see it now. Pteranodon. We're going to be hunting for a good Pteranodon when we get back to base. There's another Pteranodon. We need to be crafting this up a bunch of trank darts and stuff if we're going to tame us a Pteranodon. Wouldn't be opposed to having an Apelagornis, but they're kind of hard to tame and they're really not as good. Very slow. There's a Bronto neck sticking up above that tree. At least that's what it looks like. I guess that's what that is. Doesn't seem to be moving, but it looks like a Bronto. And I think the weather's clearing up on us now. So we can see around a little better. Yeah, that is definitely a Bronto and a Dillo and a couple turtles. And we're almost back to home base now. So I think we will definitely make it today. another big shark down in there. Well, I may not be able to get around these rocks. I may have made a mistake. Yep, I might have messed up coming up in here. Nope, there's a way out.
I'm gonna have to explore that lighthouse pretty soon up there. May get my power sword today and head up this way and see if I can get close to it. A little worried about losing it to raptors, but maybe I can manage. If I could tame a raptor or two, I'd be set. Pretty sure there's a raptor down here on this beach somewhere because I got seen one run up on me when I was down here exploring earlier. Seen one chasing a parasaur or something. May have to try to tame it. Of course, I don't see it yet. Nice looking red turtle over there. There's another big red turtle right under me. Almost home. We're almost to our starter base. It's probably not going to be your home for much longer. Oh no, I beached my canoe. Control it. Let's go. Let's pedal this thing around here. Well, we definitely got a good starter course on the canoe ride the last three days, didn't we? I think we're going to not use this thing anymore for a while. We get back and get it parked. Wonder what has spawned over here next to my base since I've been gone. I actually don't see my base. I thought it was right here. Did it just not spawned in yet? Or am I just not in the right spot? Okay, come on, bird, stay away from me. I must be in the wrong spot. I thought it was right here, but it's over in the next little cove, I guess. Come on, boat, turn for me. Yep, it's in the next cove. I was thinking it was in the first cove past the lighthouse, but it's in the second one. A couple more parasaurs. And a lastro. I think we're about to make it back to base now.
Looks like I'm gonna crash into this big rock if I can't get this canoe to turn a little bit. There it goes. What is that over there on the beach? Oh, it's just a green track. I couldn't tell what that was there for a minute or two. Straight ahead. About another half mile. And my canoe is going in the opposite direction. Straighten up our canoe. Still can't see my house. I guess it'll start spawning in here in a minute or two. Where's my base? Should be right there in front of us. There it is. Finally popped in. Had to get awful close for it to. Quite a long journey. I think I'm going to take my parasaur out for a ride after I dump all this stuff out of my inventory. Get some food for the parasaur. Look out, I'm fixing to crash. Let me go dump some stuff before I get on the parasaur. Okay, what have we got here? We got this crystal that we found on that little island. Looks like we got a spare bed. Quite a bit of hide now. Uh, thatch. We've got some torches and an extra box. And a sign. Do we want to put this stuff up? Yeah, let's get our guy back into first person and we'll put up another box here. And then we might set these torches and set these torches and put us a sign up. Uh, what are we gonna do this extra bed? Let's just throw it in here, I guess. Save the bed and the pig saddle. We've got a bunch of spoiled meat, so we need to be making narcotics, but I don't think we've got any berries. So we're going to have to take our parasol out right and do some berry picking, I think. And we need more spark powder, too, so we need to get out and make us some spark powder. And I guess we could throw us up a sign here since we've got one. Where do we want this at? Uh, set some text on it. First base. And we got a couple of torches. I guess I can throw a torch up out here. Put one outside and one inside.
do that and let's see what our power source is looking like. We need definitely need some berries. Okay, Parasaur, you have some berries, but you don't have the kind I need. Let's take what we need off of the Parasaur and then we'll dump everything else. And I guess definitely need that spoiled meat. And drop all. We need to find us a ton of narco berries. Parasaurs ain't near as good as moss chomps for getting berries, but they'll, he'll have to do for now. Don't have a moss chomps. But he's still a lot better than I am at picking berries. Moss chomps, if you get right in the middle of these two patches right here, he'd probably get both of them. Paris, where you have to hit right on them to get them. Moss chops can pick probably six or eight bushes at a time. Pyrosaur has a level up. Thatching wood, you do get a little bit of thatching wood. I don't want to chop this tree down so let's not hit it. Go ahead and level the parasaur up. What are we going to level up on the parasaur? I think we'll probably just put health on him. We've got 81 narco berries. And we've got quite a few seeds. We could do, the, do us a garden pretty soon. I think we've got all the seed types. put what I want to keep in my inventory and drop the rest so he can hold a lot more. So I need a ton of narco berries. And I actually need a bunch of plant and stone for spark powder so let's go ahead and be doing that too while we're out here. Parasaur, you're detecting the enemy. What is it? Hope it ain't nothing bad, because I am busy. Okay. What are you detecting? One of those birds, probably? Get you on birds. Well, them things give you a pain in the butt when you're on a canoe, I'll have to say. Get on back to base here and get some of this stuff to craft and then we'll go get some more. That should be enough to get us started. There's a supply drop up there, but if it's a purple one, I'd be wasting my time going up there. Okay, we need... I'm going to keep a bunch of these major berries. You got a pretty good bunch of narcos that time, though. Put these major berries in the refrigerator to keep. Okay. some narcotics here. I put my mortar and pestle in a bad spot. 
hard to access next to these beds and stuff. level up from crafting stuff. Okay, I've got a chest here with seeds in it. Somewhere we gotta put up her... Let's just take all that stuff and stick in her smithy. Put her seeds up. Right there they are. We're gonna start a garden sometime. And we've got the seeds for it now. And all this stuff needs to go in the smithy. That should put us at level 30. See what we can unlock at level 30. I'm going to put a little bit more into. Let's put another one into Fortitude. That'll give us 10 on Fortitude. And see what we can unlock at level 30. Okay, looks like we can unlock an Adobe Dinosaur Gateway, an Iguanodon Saddle, a Megalosaurus Saddle, a Sword, and a Sickle. Do I want any of those? I guess I'll unlock the Sword and the Sickle. And, let's see, go up here a little bit further back up and see if there's anything else. I want, I want stone pillars, so let's unlock those and stone fence foundations. And I guess I want stone door frames and door. And what else do I want? I want leather gloves that I ain't got. Let's go unlock those. I don't have enough points left to unlock leather gloves, so let's just dump our stuff here. Don't have enough points left for the leather gloves. Yep, I think I'm just going to spend the night crafting stuff. What is that sound? You didn't do that, did you? Don't think you could have. That was a terrible roar sound. It's already 2100 hours, so I think we're just going to go ahead and end it off here. We're just going to do some crafting around the base area and maybe do some more berry picking with our parasaur. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Ty Creek Rock and Phyllis the Parasaur on the Lost Island map. Thanks for watching, and we're signing out.